Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Scarlett with Scarlett's Little Crafty Corner. And today I have got an unbagging. Now, this is a little different. Um, I had a company that reached out to me and asked me if I would show a couple of their products on my channel. And I said yes, because... Now, this is nothing that I have ever done. I have never, 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 never done this a day in my life. I've always wanted to because I think they're pretty, but I've never attempted it. And I thought this would be a great opportunity for me to play around with it to see if I would even like it. Plus, I know that there are tons of diamond painters that do this. And if you have guessed what I'm talking about. It is cross-stitching. Now, the company that contacted me is called VIPCrossStitch.com and they have got tons and tons of cross-stitch. They have, um, well, let's see. I made, I made a list of some of the stuff that is on their website. Um, and from what I could tell, they only sell cross-stitch. So it's not a mix of diamond painting and cross-stitch. It's only cross-stitch. But they do have cross-stitching tools. They have 11 count and 14 count stamped and counted cross-stitch. They have got... Some DIY projects like bookmarks, uh, there was door hangers, uh, pillowcases, uh, stuff like that. They have got beginner kits, they have got large kits, they got to where you can do customization, and their price ranges ranged from $3.99 to $8.99. So, I'm going to go ahead and pull these out, and again, I have no flipping clue how to cross stitch. I don't know anything about this. I don't know terminology, nothing. So, y'all, I am completely going in this blind, but I did pick out a couple that I thought were really cute, and as you can see, this is the first one that I picked out. Well, actually, I picked out a different one, and it was out of stock. So, this was the next one that I picked out. But, it's Baby Owl. And, it should have everything needed to complete this project. It's got the pre-printed fabric. It contains the fabric the thread, the needle, and instructions. And it looks like on the back, it does have the instructions on how to cross stitch. Looks like one, two, three, three steps, which I'm sure there's a whole lot more to it than that. There's some notes, and then there's how to clean and maintain. It also has the different um, embroidery descriptions. I guess that's the different um, stitches that you're going to need to do or learn to do. So let's look at this and just see what all is in here and what this looks like. And I'm kind of excited because, like I said, I've never done this before. So, this is completely new to me. So, it looks like it shows the colors of your stitches, which kind of puts me in mind of diamond painting. So, I'm going to assume that these are the DMC colors. And it shows full stitch half stitch and a back stitch is what I guess you're going to have to do to complete this. So in this, here is all the 
fabric that I'm going to need, or threads, I'm sorry, that I'm going to need, there's 16, no, 15 colors. There's the needle. It looks like there's only, nope, it looks like two. There's two needles in there. And this is an 11 count. I have no idea what that means. It says 11 count, three three threads and there's the colors okay and I'm gonna set that to the side and then here is the canvas so it looks like the pattern is printed on the canvas it's got the name of it up there and then it's got the colors, the stitch, everything that you need to do to complete this. This looks like it's really hard. I ain't even gonna lie. For somebody like me who has got no clue, I am just looking at this like okie dokie. Alright, so there's that one. And I'm gonna put it back in here and we will look at the other one that I picked out. And I'm serious, I am gonna try try to do this and I think this one was actually well actually I think they were all listed under the beginner friendly category because I thought well you know I have no earthly idea how to do this so I don't want to get anything that's going to be really hard or a lot of detail because I, I have no idea. Alright, so there's that one. Now, this is the other one that I did. Oh, the owl. Let me see. He is an 11 count counted cross stitch. And it is 32 by 24 centimeters. And he was only $4.79 for that one. All right, so this one, again, it has the pre-printed fabric and the chart, which had, it was on the other one too. This one also comes with your cotton fabric, cotton thread, needle, and instructions. And this one is called Bathing Beauty. It is 14 count. And it is a 29 by 25 centimeter. And this one was $5.17 for this one. And I went and looked before I made, started doing the video. All of these are in stock. And I will put a description, or I'll put a link to all of these, plus the um, VIPCrossStitch.com in my description box so that y'all can go check this out so I thought this would be cute if I could figure out how to do this I thought this would be cute to put in my bathroom so there's that and then this I thought that was to where you could open it but it's not it's just okay the other one didn't have this but okay so it, sh it looks like on here, it has kind of like if you were going to do a diamond painting. Because it has, if y'all can see this, it has numbers, letters, symbols, all of that on here. And it does show full stitch. There's 18 colors. There's the DMC codes. You're going to need a half stitch a fourth stitch, and then a back stitch. Okay, and I am just looking at this, just kind of scratching my head because I don't know. But just looking at the back stitch, it's if you use number 11, is I don't know. Y'all, I'm going to have to probably watch a YouTube. Somebody that 
does like little mini classes on this or something. Okay, so here's this. And again, it looks like there's two needles in there. And it's got all the thread that you need to do this. Oh, and there's 20 colors. Well, that said 18. Okay, well, anyway, there's 20, 20 somethings, anyway. And this one, like I said, it's a 14 count, and it says two threads. Whatever that means. Okay. And then here is the canvas. And again, it has everything that is on that piece of paper is also on your canvas. Now, I know that you probably, just by watching the other people do this, you probably got to have a hoop or that square thing that everybody uses. Um, or I guess you could just do it by just having this. I don't know. Y'all, again, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just sitting here just talking out my butt, really, because I have no clue. Willing to learn, but I just have no clue as to what I'm talking about. I'm just guessing. All right. And again, it also had the instructions on the back of this one. On the back of this one's package. Okay. We'll get this one back in here. I think they're pretty cute. What do y'all think? Okay, had to pause for a minute. I had a little bit of a coughing fit. I'm still still trying to get over this yuck. So, all right. So, this is the third and last one that I got, which kind of goes with this one. Again, if I can figure out how to do this, I thought these would be cute hanging in my bathroom. Um, now, this one is called Bathing Beauty Number 2. It is a 14 count, 29 by 25 centimeters, and these two are considered stamped cross stitch. Now, I honestly don't know what the difference between counted cross stitch and stamped cross stitch is. So again, I have no freaking clue. And their instructions are on the back of this one. And let's look at this one. Now, this one was $5.49. And again, there's the picture. And it's going to come with this sheet, like the other one. And it shows 13 colors, I'm assuming. And it has full stitch, half stitch, a fourth, a French knot, and a back stitch. They just keep, seems like they just keep adding stitches and I don't know y'all. Is this hard? I'm thinking this is going to be hard. I don't know. Okay. So, you get your two needles with this and it is showing 14 count two thread and there's 14 well one says 13 colors one says 14 I don't know y'all I may be reading that completely wrong but there's the colors to that and then here's the canvas again has got everything that is on your instruction paper is also on your canvas but I think they're very cute very very cute and if I can figure out how to do this I'm gonna try it y'all I guess I might as well jump on that bandwagon huh 
But I think the colors are cute. I think, I just think the, the image itself is cute. So, what do y'all think? And again, the company is called VIP crossstitch.com and again I will put a link to the company and I will also put a link to each one of these cross stitch canvases in my description box and I hope y'all enjoyed this it's a little different but like I said when they when they contacted me and asked me if I wanted to do it, I was kind of like, well, I mean, I don't cross stitch. But then I got to thinking, well, you know what? That's probably the one thing that I do not have that I wouldn't mind learning how to do. And I knew a lot of y'all cross stitched. So I thought, well, maybe some of my subscribers have never heard of this company and they might want to try it. So, yeah. I told them okay. So, so what do y'all think? Would y'all consider buying from this company? You think these patterns are cute? Do you think I'll ever figure out how to do this? <laughs> I don't know. But, alright y'all. I just want to jump on here and show these to y'all. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you're enjoying all the videos I've been throwing out there for the past week or so. And until my next video, y'all, I'll see you later. Bye, y'all.